And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Swain to start our holiday stream. Um, we are going to be playing this deck because I think it's just really good. It's a deck that we went 5-0 with earlier. It's our only deck that we have gone 5-0 so far since the newest expansion. And I've been wanting to replay it ever since then because um, it was a lot of fun to play and we had a lot of things go right for us and uh, won some games. We have a whole bunch of good removal in here and I really like being able to play Scorched Earth and Aftershock, so two different destroy landmark cards with the Grand Plaza being everywhere. Um, but then we also just have like good cheap removal. We like the Death Ray being in here to be able to deal uh, fast speed, dealing like one damage that helps turn on Ravenous Flock or turns on a Guillotine or Scor Scorched Earth. Uh, we don't have the most card draw. That's something that we struggle a little bit with. So we only got two Static Shocks and a Progress Day in here as far as drawing cards. I guess Leviathan kind of counts because it draws a Swain whenever you play it. Both of our champions are pretty fun to play. Both Victor and Swain can just kind of sit out on the battlefield and um, take over the game. Whether it's Swain stunning a bunch of enemies, um, you know, with help from Leviathan or Burn Spells upstairs or them drawing Mushroom Clouds. Or Victor, creating your hex core upgrades um, and making Victor uh, really good. Uh, let's see, Victor, a card that works great with Victor, of course, is Ballistic Bot, creating an Ignition in hand at round start. The Ignition's also very good with Swain, because whenever you cast an Ignition, you're leveling up your Swain with the non-combat damage. And when you have a leveled up Swain, uh, whenever you deal non-combat damage to the Nexus, you're stunning something. So the Ballistic Bot's um, Ignition works with the leveled up Swain as well. Just a pretty fun deck to play. So let's get to it. Let's play some Victor Swain. We'll play our five games in ranked. Let's have some fun. Playing against some scouts. Scouts are good. Um, one thing that scouts have that I don't want to see is the Rangers Resolve. Right? Like that could be a card that could be pretty good against us. I'm going to mulligan the Leviathan. Hello. Um, no, I don't, I don't think Trifarian Assessor would really help this deck as far as drawing cards goes. Um, yeah, let's mulligan the Leviathan. And keep the rest. I don't know, I kind of want to keep the Leviathan, to be honest. I kind of want to keep the Leviathan. Hmm. Zap. spot. I'm just going to pass. I'll go Death Ray if they have, looks like maybe they have Blinding Assault, and then we'll use Death Ray for that. Rankler with the tier 3 sub. Merry Christmas, Rankler. Thank you, Rankler. Y'all get some hype in the chat. For Rankler bringing out the tier 3 sub, that's incredible. So unfortunately with destroying, with having the Aftershock, I don't get to uh, play Victor as well. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Rankler! Also gifted out five subs. Let's just do this. Let's see, see what else they do. Yeah, maybe I should have attacked first before destroying the landmark. Um, I was thinking that like if I attacked first, then they play something that they get the landmark bonus. But honestly, with them with them not having the attack token this turn, it's, I, they're probably not like playing something and then relentless pursuit. I don't think 
And so like it's so it probably wasn't that big of a deal that they would get the um, bonus there. So yeah, I, th I think I probably should have attacked first. Demacian needs heroes. All right, so this will work pretty well. We'll be able to stun and flock the Quinn and Death Ray that thing. Really hoping no Rangers resolve this turn, right? Like, really hoping no Rangers resolve this turn. Sharp side, we'll keep that alive for a little bit, but we got the death ray. So it's all good. Alright, two attacks for Quinn. Um. And I want to play the um, the Victor first because this Death Ray is a created card, so that'll uh, turn Victor into being a three four. Awesome. Not another Sharp Sight or Rangers Resolve. Very good. And we're probably going to be drawing those other MKs. Yep, like that. The pool sharks, that's a great hit, right? Because they get the fleeting card. That's that's a great hit for them. Fury. Not very useful. And there's the blinding assault that we knew about before. <clears throat> so if they want to challenge... Okay. They do not want to challenge Victor. Yeah, I like this deck too. This deck's pretty sweet. This is this deck's really good. Let's get some good keywords. Okay, quick attack's good. Yeah, nothing wrong with quick attack. You're covered. No real use to use quick attack though right now. That barrier. In action. And Swain is at eleven. No <laughs> Alright, just gonna shoot the Valor so they don't get that attack with the Quinn. I guess I can cast the hex core upgrade though also, can't I? Because that's slow speed, so I could I could have done both. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really worth it popping the barrier. I don't think. Tough? That is great. Okay, if they're willing to attack, that's gotta mean sharp sight, right? If they're willing to attack. That has to mean sharp sight. You think just don't block? So my option. So I was thinking like spider, you know, block spiderling and then aftershock it. Yeah, actually, maybe it's just don't block and play Swain. Maybe that's actually better. Maybe that was their plan was just try to get try to get the free hit in and, and get the Jagged Butcher. The deal is yours. The dead don't need riches. It's not too difficult for this Quinn to level up now though. Which that's what they're doing with this attack, just trying to level up Quinn. 
So the victor stays the same health, that's why I blocked with victor. So this is a good combo, Ballistic Bot can stun stuff. Alright, probably gonna need to kill that Grand Plaza. Elusive? Now we're talking. Or I could just do the damage to them. This will put them down to one, and then round start I create an ignition. Oh right, they'd have the 3-2 to, to block anyway, so yeah, dealing, killing the that thing wouldn't matter. Okay. There we go. This deck's sweet. GG. All right, we'll start the uh, prediction because we're playing against a Rillian Soul and Leona. Feels like this could be tough because a Rillian Soul Leona is all about playing like the really big units. Um. Hmm. Let's mulligan Swain and maybe the Chump Wump also. Chump Wump can probably trade with stuff. But let's let's go ahead and mulligan those two. We'll keep Thermogenic Beam, we'll keep House Spider. Okay, got a nice sentry flock. This is gonna be just another Grand Plaza deck though, right? So like I wanna find one of my five uh, removal spells for Grand Plaza. We'll get this House Spider in play. Hey Cabo. Aftershock's a good draw, and Leviathan's a pretty good draw, too. Priestess, of course, is not worth the, the Arachnoid Sentry um, Ravenous Flock. We don't need to use that. We'll just attack, see what they do. Yeah, we had two people gift out five subs today. So, yeah, we're already at 11 subs. I think I will just pass. Yep, just pass. Unfortunately, we couldn't play Aftershock and... Our is ah, Robin. And Chump Lump the same turn. You. So I could go Sentry, Stun, Robin, and then Flock, and then Death Ray. That seems like a lot of... a lot of cards to deal with. Yeah, I guess I could, I could just death ray flock, right? Yeah, there's no real reason to sentry. And that actually kind of sounds good. Because um, I can even throw a genetic beam if, they, if they're going to be like static. Or if they're going to like uh, use like a two mana card. Sharp Sight. They're going to Sharp Sight. We can throw a genetic beam afterwards. I'm... Definitely considering just casting both these mushroom clouds. No, we'll save them. We're not okay, so like we're not like a rummage away mushroom cloud kind of deck. We're more of a. Man, do I want to lead with Swain? No. We're more of a cast mushroom clouds to help level up Victor and get extra damage and like have them draw mushroom clouds for my Swain kind of deck. So we we definitely cast these mushroom clouds. The 
few for the many. I mean, Leviathan plus Wayne can can deal with Aurelian Soul, kinda. Descend upon them. Oh, that's a harvest right there. But you know, if they have like single combat, also, it sure gets to be a problem. Could just kill this 1-1, keep it from being able to block. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Nah. Not worth. Okay, so I go... So they daybreaked, probably looking for Aurelian Soul. <laughs> yeah, nobody deals with leveled up early, so. Yep. The old cosmic lizard. A dragon, madam. Alright, so soon they block there, there, they take three, six, seven, eight, they go down to three. I'm just really hoping they don't have single combat. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm pushing damage and going for like Leviathan. That's quite enough. If that would have worked, you know, could have maybe put them down to three. This was hoping, and then like a Leviathan kill them. Sometimes you just need a galaxy destroyed. Prepare the cargo. Just no single combat. <clears throat> no single combat. I don't think there's really like that big of a difference between the three two and the four two. I'll just throw the four two in front. Maybe the maybe the one point of damage matters with the Aurelian Soul. But like me having a three two or a four two, there's not really any difference there. Okay, that's good for me. Well, them having them having a. Uh, them having a single combat is obviously very bad, right? Like, that was the worst card that I could see. But the good news is they didn't kill my Leviathan with the single combat. That's the good news. Now they'll pay attention. Oh, we're so close. One more puff cap. So close. I became a soldier. I became a soldier. Must be nice having zero mana, supernova, obliterate your two great cards. Wow. 
Wow, that is greedy by my opponent. They had a star shaping, and they're using it on Aurelian Soul. Oh, wow, that's greedy. I hope they draw a puff cap. Oh, I hope they draw a puff cap. Alright, draw that puff cap. Oh, come on. They just have two star shapings. They just had it all. They just had it all. So they had the single combat. And then, yeah, double star shaping plus they obliterate too. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Really, in Soul is dumb. Okay, back to Aurelian Soul. Back to the same regions, this time with Zoe. Or sorry, not Aurelian Soul, but Leona. Sorry, back to Leona. Pretty decent hand. I think I'll just keep this. Yeah. Humanity is obsolete. Humanity is obsolete. I don't know who- I still don't understand who they got for, like, the voice line. Like, who actually sounds like this ballistic bot? Like, who's- who's this voice actor that sounds like that? That's a pretty good start. But it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Okay. Go to my turn. My turn's cooler anyway. Yeah, there's there's probably some audio audio engineering going into the making of that voice. You're probably right. I don't know if anybody actually sounds like that. Yes, this this deck's definitely reasonably reasonably viable. We went 5-0 with it last time. That, that was our first loss that we just had to leveled up Aurelian Soul. Alright, probably Death Ray plus Flock. Yeah, I think I like Death Ray plus Flock. We go Static Shock Flock. And draw a card. And we actually did beat two of those Aurelian Souls last time when we went 5 0. Cool. Yeah, I went I went with the Um I know I went the two one so I could MK it. But yeah, that was definitely the other option. Like we could have gone Scryer to be able to Mystic Shot it. We are at war. Tough call. I could see them going Pale Cascade block. Yep. Well, that just, like, levels up my Swain better. So that's the good news there. Stupid. Again, gets rid of, you know, like, single combat is incredibly valuable. So getting rid of a single combat and just killing a little Chump Womp, I'm, you know, I'm happy with that. 
sunlight guide you, my brethren. I'll go with one aftershock. We'll still keep one aftershock for Grand Plaza if they if they do have Grand Plaza. They may not be as much of a Grand Plaza deck. With having the with having the the scryer, it may not actually be a mountain scryer deck. So I feel like we've seen like single combat. Like there's definitely a limit on how many Demacia cards they're playing with playing mountain scryer. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite the heavens. So next turn, Leviathan. Yeah, I want to play Leviathan this turn, but we could also get like a, a nice swing attack if I go like Death's Hand on the Mountain Scryer, stun the Leona. Maybe I should just be dropping and not really worried about attacking. I should probably just be dropping Leviathan and not really worried about attacking. I like all these silences. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, sorry, Punnet. The messenger chases stars from the sky. That would have been so great if they would have drawn a puff cap off of that, you know, like the messenger, they would have drawn a puff cap, Leona gets stunned, I get to hit him with Swain and just wipe their board. Bunch of invoke cards over there. Their time has come. Such little lies. So many invoke cards. Victor would be a nice draw. Where are we at for level on Victor? Two. Cast two mushroom clouds. So we're basically there. Imagine if this ballistic bot was like creating ignitions all these turns. That'd be pretty sweet. Hey, how about that? There's Victor. Alright, got a nice stun. Some good stuns in here. Forger, your work is unparalleled. Blades bright, forged in solstice heat. Mm. Well, that hurts. Good news is that's two. Single combat's down. The incredibly valuable uh, spell, that's two of them down. Not, not a very fair card. Thanks, Mr. Tosley. Alright, don't really like my chances against the Scourge. But we'll see. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that is not fair. Celestial cards may be a little too powerful. <laughs> they, so even if I block with everything, we die. Okay, I'm very interested to see how this matchup goes. I think that we should be just fine in this matchup. All right, Mulligan, Swain, Static Shock. Um, even Ballistic Bot, I don't actually need to really keep Ballistic Bot. Actually, maybe we just Mulligan that too. Um, Mystic Shot's perfect against Lucian. There we go, Scorched Earth for the Plaza. Because I think that if you can kind of keep Lucian and the Plaza in check, you'll be pretty good. Now, we'll, you know, Hecarim will be a little bit different, but you have to start by keeping Lucian and Plaza in check. That's step one. Spiders. All right, no plaza, just some bark beasts. Okay, so I could, I can basically, I can use Mystic Shot, Ravenous Flock, Ravenous Flock, and kill everything. And then I'll, I'll only be left with three cards with Guillotine, Scorched Earth, Chump Womp, and they'll be left with three cards. Um, so we'll each be left with three cards. The thing is, is like guillotine is not very valuable. I won't have like very good cards left, but I kind of want to do that. I, could, I guess I could also wait and next turn just go guillotine, guillotine this next turn. And spend six mana that way and just kill both of those with the two guillotines and then keep the flocks. And that takes up my mana and I'm not playing Chump Womp. Okay, so we're gonna have the. Okay, so I should probably keep the flocks to go along with the sentry. Um, I don't. I don't know anything about it, Solemn Shadow. I'm not I'm not opposed to using LOR Guardian. I don't I just don't know anything about LOR Guardian. This is gonna be me taking seven going down to eight. These sharks are definitely gonna be problematic how they're gonna be able to keep coming back. I'm what nightmares fear. Or I save four life by, you know, I can throw away the ballistic bot to save four life because, you know, it'll just get challenged by the shark chariot. So I either take 11, or I guess, so yeah, never mind. So it's take, me taking 11. So take 11, go down to four, or ballistic bot, throw away ballistic bot and go to eight. Okay, very good victor draw. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh I love life steal. Obviously, I couldn't I I yeah, I, I had to play, I had to pass turn if they had Hecarim. Like, this was the turn I couldn't, I couldn't afford them to have Hecarim. They have Hecarim, I'm, I'm dead. I can afford them to play Hecarim that turn, so. GG's. GG's.
I could have played around Hecarim, you know, by... I just thought, like, I had to get Victor in play as far as, like, winning the game. But, you know, I couldn't afford then playing a, a Hecarim. That was, the, that was the one card I really couldn't beat. All right, and Draven Ezreal. Finish it out. House Spider's kind of just good against their House Spider. Mystic Shot doesn't kill Draven or Ezreal. Um, I can't keep both Chumpwomp and Victor. Um, but, like, Chumpwomp's really good. If, if they're just, like, all removal and they don't have their champions, then, you know, Chumpwomp's a really good card to have in, like, just, like, the removal match. But the thing is, I, I think I had to try to find some ways to deal with their champions just to kind of start with in, in case they do have the champions. And that would be their plan. The party has arrived. Let's boogie. I want to get Victor in play as early as possible. If I if I play Victor, they get to do three damage to me and create another spinning axe. I guess that's worth it. Okay, so the victor will take two cards from them. Submit. Not bad. Took a thermogenic beam and a scorched earth for one victor. Not bad. Okay. Um, so we're not gonna have, yeah, we're not gonna have a ravenous flock anymore. My legacy. Let's play New Swain. Loyalty to conquest. Maybe scare them from attacking. Okay, the thing I like about doing this. It tells my opponent that I have removal spell. They are not scared. So when they'd be a little bit more scared. Just a little bit. Alright, so our Swain's basically leveled up now. Basically. Wow. When I'm targeted and survive, draw a card. That includes me targeting it with Death's Hand. That's messed up. Okay. 
Okay, so I probably have to uh, spend both my, my Death Sand and my Scorched Earth dealing with this thing. Which is unfortunate, because that means I don't get to play Leviathan the next turn. Okay, we could also MK2 that. No. No. Okay, let's see. So if I play Leviathan, they... I, I have House Spider block the Captain Farrens. That deals six. This deals another two, so that's seven, eight. My Leviathan checks that. So I take eight damage, so we go down to nine. Um, we begin the next turn. We deal three to them to put them down to three. If I'm at nine, then I, I start by MK... Or I guess I start... Yeah, I start with MK Death Ray, the Ezreal... Basically, are they gonna have they're gonna have something that kills my Leviathan? Other option, I could just MK the Captain Farron and then Scorched Earth it. I think this is my better play. Axes coming right up. This attack means it's not likely that I win for how they're making this attack. Fire! Maybe this, this Arachnoid Sentry was a really good draw. Sentry was a very good draw. Okay, we let this happen. We take two and go down to six. I think two go down to six is pretty safe. Safe-ish. Hopefully they just spend five mana on a decimate. Okay, that's another mana spent. Because I can Scorched Earth and kill the Captain Farron, and then we stun something with the Sentry. That's kind of my plan right now. Hoping, you know, they would just play a unit, like play a blocker, but it looks like they just kept up removal. Yep, they played that very well. It's too bad. Captain Farron. I've been losing to that card a ton the last couple of days. Just can't beat Captain Farron. You know, if they just have anything out like if they just don't have Captain Farron on turn eight, I think we're I think we're great, but they they did, they they played that great. The other thing that really hurt us that game was not having three damage spells, not being able to kill Draven right away with any singular spell. Um, you know, we just had a whole bunch of, you know, like we just had Mystic Shot, Death's Hand. Um, I don't even know if we had Mystic Shot, but you know, like we had Death's Hand, Scorch Earth, um, Death Ray. Yeah, that's what we had. We had like Death Ray, Death's Hand, Scorched Earth. Nothing that was very efficient, you know, not like Static Shock plus... Um, you know, not like Static Shock plus one of those that would draw the card. Or anything like that. Nothing that was too efficient. <clears throat> they had a great hand. They did a great job killing my stuff. Um, yeah, that was a lot of, lot of opponents that... Uh, I, I don't... Yeah, I, yeah, I went 1-4, but I don't really feel that my deck is is bad. I, f I feel like our, our deck's good. But we just... We went 1-4. Yeah. Our opponents had had awesome stuff. Like they had exactly the the cards they needed to win. I would be I'd be pretty confident in running this back and going four and one if you know just. But uh, that's what happens with your small samples. You know, like last time we went five zero with this deck. This time we went one four with this deck. It's probably not as good as five zero. I don't think it's. I definitely don't think it's as bad as one four. It's just small. You know, very small samples. Um, Death Ray didn't look nearly as good this time as it did last time. 
it looked pretty poor. Because uh, we, you know, just played against decks with much bigger units. And uh, so maybe the death rays need to be changed to like more like thermogenic beams. Um, you know, more more thermogenic beam or or maybe, you know, some of these other cards. Maybe like, a, you know, maybe a third static shock, third scorched earth. Um, you know, maybe play those kind of cards instead of the death rays. Because, yeah, they, they looked pretty poor. I think that I think out of, out of all these cards, that was the card um, that I was the least impressed with, and, and maybe think that maybe needs to change. You know, could be a could be a second thermogenic beam and third static shock. I could see that. I yeah, because I, I don't think that those cards were very good. Um, static shock would help you against aggro with having the the two one damage things, and then you know, like thermogenic beam you can have against aggro, but then it can also uh, match up against uh, your other you know, your other larger threats as well. I think that's what I do. I change change that MK. Get another static shock in here to draw some cards, and another thermogenic beam. All right, but there we go, Victor Swain. Not the best start, but you know that's all right. We had some had some fun, learned uh, learned some stuff, and played some good games. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know uh, what you're playing these days. What do you want to see on a stream? And then, you know, of course, also on YouTube and everything like that. Love, love to see those comments. All right, but that's it here for Victor Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.